Welcome back to my channel, The Struggle is Real with Jamie Yeager. Today we are going to talk about uh, customer service in healthcare. And using, we're gonna try to use mostly high-end products. So today we're gonna go in with, I already cleansed my skin, um, with the NARS Skin Eye Cream. And then for um, other moisturizer, I'm gonna go in with the Awake, my usual Awake um, moisturizer. And then I'm gonna let that sit for about five minutes and I'll be back. Now I'm gonna go in with this Smash Photo Finish Primer Water by Smashbox. Um, I put in this because it's broke. If you've seen my other videos, you'll, because of my, um, luggage. I'm going to let that dry and I'll be right back. Now I'm going to go in with my Smashbox Under Eye Primer. So it would, if you go to any um, fast food place, you could go to Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, you could go to anywhere and you have high school people there, right? How do they get customer service but in healthcare, who I'd hope you go into healthcare because you care, they are so rude to patients. I mean, I have seen so much, heard so much of what they do, do and say to patients that is, can be appalling. And it's not just, um, you know, like any. It's any level in the hospital that I've seen. Um, some horrible things to what they do to patients or say to patients and it's like are you kidding me there and yes i get sometimes the patient the patient or family could be a little bit difficult but you got to understand this is the worst they in their life people when they're in the hospital they're not at their best they're at their worst because they're in the hospital and i think sometimes people forget that when they're taking care of the patient so for primer, I want to go in with this Marc Jacobs um, primer. It's a blurring coconut face primer. Ooh, it's nice and smoothing. I like it. It's soft. Um. So anyway, they, you know, I, I get um, sometimes they can patients and families they can be difficult and you know and it does work both ways um it, you know you can't treat the hospital staff either like garbage i've seen that too where they are just demanding and they're rude to the the hospital staff um now i'm going to go in with this gloss of uh, one step color corrector i don't know if it's necessarily high end but um i like it because it's all in one um, and like I said before, I have a lot of flaws on my face, so we're going to just correct everything on my face. Um, so yeah, I mean, I had this one time I was working on a project and I was talking to patients and seeing why they, um, would rate us a lower level of, for the hospital. And this, and this nurse, uh, or, and they said, the patient said to me, I I just want to see a smile. I mean, they come in and they're just not smiling. I want to see a smile. So I was talking to the staff and saying, what can we do to help make you smile? I got this uh, thing from Complex Culture. It's pr pretty smoothing. So I'm just going to kind of rub all this into my face. Um, but anyway, in um, the one pa the one nurse goes because you know there's a shortage everywhere in healthcare, which is hard for the all the healthcare um, staff. Everybody's working more with less, and it's it's hard. But um, anyway, and she said, "I am not going to smile as long as I get X Y X amount of patients." And I said, "Well, I I was just like I was kind of appalled by it." Okay, I can't find my It Cosmetics um, Bye Bye Foundation that I always have here on my desk. Um, so, 
which I'm a little kind of concerned about that. But anyway, so I am going in with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Hopefully this one is in my shade. Um, it's hard when you're in a hotel. I could have just misplaced it. But housekeeping did just come in um, yesterday. So I'm wondering if like something, it dropped somewhere or hopefully it didn't fall in the garbage or something. I don't know. Hopefully I just misplaced it somewhere. Oh, I put way too much. I always do that. But so anyway, I said to the nurse, I said, well, yeah, you might not want to smile because you're upset because you have too many patients and it's um, hard and um, and it's a hard day but one okay you shouldn't take it out on the pa out on the patient but say the nurse doesn't care about that in this particular one I, I kind of wonder but um but anyway I said so I tried to put it back to what's in it for them I said if it doesn't take much to smile and if that's what the patients like, you can go in and smile. It takes nothing, no effort, no extra time, whatever. But it'll save time in the long run because now you didn't make, upset that patient. And sometimes when you upset a patient, you get, um, you know, everybody else is, a lot of people have to come in and try to do service recovery on that patient. So, you know, if you don't care about, and that includes administration and whatever. If you don't care about administration because you're like, well, too bad, it's administration, blah, blah, blah. Because um, I know a lot of times people will be like, um, they have, they have, a, I don't know if grudge is the right word, but they, a lot of staff don't like administration whenever they're, they're working. And because they think they don't care and whatever. And, but if you don't care about administration, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape um, concealer. Um, and this is, I don't know, it doesn't really give a shade. Hmm. But anyway, so, but what about your peers? Because now you're, you're going to have to spend more time with the patient. Because you just ticked them off. And then you also, what about your peers afterwards? How fair is it to your next, the next group coming on and having to deal with a, a patient that's not happy? So, you know, think about things like that, you know. And so... And that's what I told them. I don't know if they cared, you know, because they're like, I don't care. I'm just unhappy. I'm disgruntled. And, you know, and a lot of times, you know, people don't want to do the disciplinary approach to, to staff whenever they are rude and do stuff because it, there's already a shortage. But you know what? If people, um, if you hold people accountable to it and you start enforcing whatever, guess what you're going to, I mean, that's what all the fast food and Chick-fil-A, they, they, they're they not going to allow someone to treat a customer that way. So, you know, we need to get to the, you know, the point where we don't allow it in healthcare either, you know. I'm just going to go in with my usual Yensa cream, or bron cream bronzer. But, yeah, I mean, so if they... You know, it's hard to hold a physician accountable and, you know, but it's easier to do other staff, hold them accountable, but I don't think they do a good enough job. And there's t people that are like, well, I'm going to bring in Chick-fil-A and all these other um, uh, Starbucks or even Disney. Disney does stuff like where they'll do education and stuff um, to... <laughs> On customer service but they can do all that but it's not gonna work unless you hold people accountable to it and it's such a shame that all these other industries get customer service 
or hold people accountable to who are could be is high school the high school kids and they get it but yet someone who goes into healthcare because they they care and they want to help people don't get customer service i don't get it and i get healthcare is very a hard job you know, there's times I wanted to, you know, go tell a patient to go pound sand because they were being rude to me. And I, you know, I refrained, obviously, because I didn't want to get in trouble or by my manager or whatever. But, you know, I did the best I could. And and you're not going to make anybody happy. I mean, I always try to do as much as I um, could for my patients because I, you know... We, we do all care and about it, but it gets to the point where you can only take so much. I get that. There, were, Like I said, there was times that I wanted to go tell them to go pound sand, but, and I'm not their, you know, I'm not their maid. I'm not the, you know, whatever, you know, I, but, you know, and then I try to remember that they're, they're not feeling the best either, but that doesn't mean that they have a right to um, treat people like garbage. I'm going to go ahead and try this High Beam by Benefit. I think I might have tried this once before. Um, I'm just kind of put this on. I don't have a high-end cream blush. Um, so I might just... The only cream blush that I have that I've ever tried is that Milani um blush so i might just go ahead and use that so i'm gonna just go in with the milani cream blush so yeah like i said it works both ways um but a lot of times all the patient really wants to do and what you're, or what will start triggering um, people from being getting kind of angry is because they just want something simple, you know, a glass of water or whatever. And sometimes, yeah, a patient can't have something, and but it's the approach that the nurse or who doctor or whoever can just tell them the reason why. Yes, they're still going to be angry. I've, uh, trust me, you're not going to make everybody happy. And no matter what approach, when you tell a patient they can't have something, they get angry. And, you know, but, you know, I think in healthcare, we just need to try a little harder. But I get it. If we're working harder with less and it's um, more patients, especially with this pandemic, it's hard to deal with customer service or like think of customer service when it, everything is just very hard so um i am gonna go in with the violet voss um six color eyeshadow um pa palette it's um got some nice shades here oh there goes that um so i am going to go in with Actually, first, I need to put um, the, eye, the eyeshadow base. Um, this is the by NARS. And put this down. I almost forgot about it. I'm going to go on with this concealer brush and just kind of get that out. So one of the things about customer service, uh, so if you go on to any hospital and you can, on hospital compare, I talked about the star rating, but in addition to the star rating, they have a HCAP star rating, which is the patient satisfaction survey star rating. I'm going to go in with this silk shade now on the Violet Voss's um, palette. So you can go on that. 
And so with the HCAPS, which is the hospital um, patient satisfaction survey that patients get after discharge, and they can take the survey, and they'll ask you a bunch of questions, that goes into an HCAP star rating, and it also goes into the overall star rating, and it also goes into um, a, a another bucket program that CMS Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Um, now I think I'm going to go in with this um, PG or pet pretty peach shade. So any, anyway, so it goes into this bug, bucket by CMS and um, the hospital based off of their scores can get um, penalized. And or if the best hospitals who get have better star ratings will have they can maybe make some money out of it. Um, but those have to be the five star hospitals usually um, for the age caps. And most of the hospitals in the country are around a three. Um, so every and I tell you this because every hospital is um, working on customer service for the for patients and because of not only reputation but um, penalties so with that you know it's very important and if everybody is working on this and that's one of their focus is customer service why can't we get it why can't we enforce it why why do we have so much troubles with it in healthcare? I mean, it, but yet other, um, now I'm going to go in with this core pop, but, um, so anyway, if every hospital is focused on it because of all the reasons I just said, and they still can't get it right, but yet other industries, even high school kids who are employed get it and you think that um i mean i'm not trying to be stereotypical but you think that a, an adult would have a better concept of customer service than high school kids but i think it's just on how you what you enforce in your organization and it's hard and I've been in other industries, um, just uh, obviously on the healthcare side of other industries, like manufacturing as an occupational health nurse, but also, you know, I, I see the accountability piece is far more holding people more accountable in other industries than in healthcare. Now I'm going to go in with this champagne color um, for all over the lid. Hopefully... Um, I'm probably going to have to wet my brush, probably, I'm assuming. Yeah, I would love to hear if you've had good or bad experiences, if you've ever been in a hospital. Um, and if you have any suggestions on, like, what healthcare can do because for for a lot of things and that's one of the things that I try to do is get patients feedback um, but it's kind of hard because a lot of the times the surveys um, information isn't as in-depth and it could be a non anonymous so you can't reach out to the patient to figure out like um, you know what the issues are I kind of liked how that uh, ended up looking, um, the champagne, and I didn't even want my brush. I think I might want my brush and make it even a little bit more um, popping. So let's see. Oh, so much better. Yeah, this, this shade here, I have, it's a lot, I usually, if you see my other videos, struggle a lot with, um, getting the shimmer shades on and stuff this one wow i like it so 
Yes, uh, um, that one's a good one. Okay, I'm going to go in with this Mellow Precision Pen Liner. Um, I'm not sure if it's high-end, but um, I've never heard of this company. But uh, let's see. Again, as you know, I struggle with the eyeliner because I have to close my eyes. I just wish I could wink, you know? Make my life a lot easier. And then I'm going to go in like how Babs Beauty does it and hold my eye. And that's why I have decided I am not going to... Oh my gosh, that's a long one. Um, I, I usually set my face, uh, before I was setting my face, before I did my eyes, but now because in case I get fallout, or because I have to do, I mess up, I didn't set my face yet, and I can go back in with, um, corrector, um, concealer of some sort, so, yeah. And then I'm gonna go in with this Lancome. Um, mascara primer maybe oh want to try this buxom um mascara oh wow that's a large wand So I'm going to have to go in with another one for my under eyes because I'm not or my uh, under my lashes, my lower lashes. Because I'm not that talented to do a big wand to my lower lashes. I don't mind the big ones, but um, if they do, I just go in with something else to go on the lower lashes. Before I do that, though, I'm going to um, use this, I don't know what the, oh, NYC Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil. I think it's, this is in dark brown, and um, I don't have, I just have a, a black or dark brown, so I'm going to just try the. Dark brown instead of the black. Doesn't seem like this is as pigmented in the waterline. I don't know. Okay, I can't find a small wand, but this one's a little bit better. It's the Lash Next Door by Brooklyn and Bailey. The wand seems a little bit thinner, so I'm going to just go on in with this for the lower lashes. Okay, now that those are done, I am thinking I've had these pomades for a while, and I think I want to try it. Um, but first, I, I'm going to go in with the It Cosmetics ooh, and outline my eyebrows. I don't know if this is going to be, 
if I should outline them or not before going in with the pomade. Juicy Jazz uses the pomade all the time. So I want to try one since I have one by Billion Dollar Brows. I usually just try to fill them in with the pencil, but I probably just ruined it um, even more so. Um, so I have the eyeshadow brush, um, or eyebrow brush by the Billion Dollar Brows, and then this is in shade taupe. So let's see if I can do this. All right. Oh, it's like a shadow. I wasn't oh, I was thinking it was more creamy. Huh. Oh my goodness. I don't. It's a good thing I have not set my face yet. Well, the good news is it's going to be a hot day, and I'll probably, here in Tacoma, Washington, it's hotter than it normally is, um, I guess, here. Um, I don't care because I'm used to, you know, staying in um, Illinois in the summer where it can get really hot and humid. Oh my gosh, this is really dark. This is not good, but again, um, so I'm okay with it, but, uh, you know, people here, there's, they're not used to it. Um, it's usually cold, I guess, here. Plus, the other thing you got to worry about is wildfires starting when it gets this hot. Um, so, and I guess in Northern California, it's already um, got some wildfires going. So, we'll be able to do a test on this makeup um, I'm not going to go out for too long and I'm going to just going to Walmart. So, all right, now that that's done, okay, I'm going to go in with the Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder and finally set my under eyes. And my T zone with this. Then, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape setting powder and set the rest of my face. Oh, that's a, that was a lot of powder there. Let's see. It's very hard to do makeup sometimes in a limited space in a hotel room, but we're making it happen. Last time I used this Morphe palette and I really liked it for the bronzing. So I'm going to go ahead with this bronzing palette. And I believe um, I went in with the shade Donut, but I might try this shade Debutante. So let's try this Debutante shade. So I would love to hear your guys' frustrations in in hospitals. If you've ever, if you've been in the, the hospital yourself or your loved one, and what would you like to see improved? You know, I I'm constantly trying to make improvements. Um, not that it, I can always make that, but I try. And one of the things that I've been trying to do lately, um, on a side, um. On the side, I have been going, I've been trying to do Lean Six Sigma training um, to hospitals um, because, so then they can look at PI and performance improvement and improve their hospital um, more so. So that's one of the things that I've been trying to do on the side. I did do um, a session with... Um, 
um, a couple of hospitals um, and they seem to really like it. Now it's just, you know, if they're going to use it or not. I, I think I'm going to try the Stardust shade here for my inner corners of my eyes and see what that does. Kind of make my eye pop. And maybe use the shade Lit for my brow bone. That's that shade there. Oh, pretty. Okay. Did I do my other eye? I can't remember. So, yeah, so I've been um, doing um, training at different hospitals if they want it and um, certify people as a yellow belt or a green belt in Six Sigma. And so that's one of the things that I've been excited about. Now I'm just going to go in with my NARS um, blush um, for in the shade Orgasm. So, yeah, so if... Um, you have hospitals that you think uh, that would want some of this training? Yeah, just let, comment below and let me know. I'd be more than happy to do it. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying to do different things to improve healthcare because you know nobody wants to go into a hospital and either have a mistake happen. I'm going into the Ofra Glazed Donut Highlighter. This is a, a very good, like, glowing highlighter. I've used this once before. Okay. Now I'm going to go into the, um, with the Huda Beauty um, Lip Contour Trophy Wipe for my lips lip liner I want to try this Tower 28 lip gloss I've heard a lot about this brand um, and this is in the shade um, coconut so Hmm. I like this smell. It's a. Hmm. It doesn't really have that bad of a, or that big of a smell, um. Uh, but I do like how, um, moist it is. I I like that. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with the, um, Urban Decay All Nighter set for this setting spray. And this is my look for today. We'll see how um, it lasts with the heat and everything else. Um, thank you for joining me today and listening to um, different things and struggles in um, customer service and healthcare. If you have any um, comments or suggestions for future, if you want to hear anything more about healthcare or different aspects of healthcare, just comment below um, if you know anybody that would want some Six Sigma training or whatever to improve their hospitals or whatever, um, which is Six Sigma is a methodology for performance improvement. Comment below. Um, if you want to hear anything more, just let me know. Have, and I hope you have a great day.